the titles in the Philippines. Um, doesn't matter who you talk to, somebody will call you sir, if you're male, ma'am, if you're female. If they know you and you have a position of uh, engineer or a lawyer, etc., they will put that title in front of your name. For example, they will go attorney Abilia, for example, or uh, engineer Matt. It's very common because you got to imagine going back, uh, well, before. Before America, uh, before the Westerners settled in America, um, in the UK, for example, you would have John the blacksmith, and uh, the, the your name was your job. Uh, Japan's the same. There, there was there'd be somebody the fisherman or just the fisherman. <laughs> Those titles are consistent throughout the world but in the Philippines they still use it as a um, representation of your status but also bear in mind if you were a teacher and you'd also been a doctor for example they may actually turn around and say this is Dr. Matt for example because your uh, medical degree etc is higher than your education uh, as a, a teacher it's a higher status so that still would be used even 20 years on because that was your main achievement you know uh, as a um, as a person you know uh, in your education system that's why you'll hear uh, even in the senator or whatever uh, in the Senate, sorry, you'll hear they don't say senator such and such, they might say um, attorney such and such because although they're a senator, their main title is their barrister degree, etc. So be aware of that because it is nice that it's actually still used in a culture in the culture because it actually promotes who you are, you know. He is an engineer, he is a doctor, he is a governor, etc. Because you, you will always hear Governor Garcia, whatever. It's always title, title, title. And it's used very, very commonly.